Leon McDonald, head coach of the Blues. Thank you very much for joining us on BTV. Pleasure to be here. Now, look, uh, I can imagine as a fan watching the game, it was awesome on Saturday. But as a coach, I bet it was stress levels were at 100. What was it like in their coaching box in the last five minutes of the game? Yeah, it was intense in the coaching box. I think I got caught on camera maybe um, with a few explicit <laughs> words. So um, <clears throat> it was a fantastic game. It ebbed and flowed, and, and to be able to, to, to squeeze home on top was uh, a great feeling. Ken, uh, in regards to that win, I mean, a lot was made off that it would broke a 20-game duck against another New Zealand team. Do you treat that as any more of a significant achievement or is that just another step in a long, tough 2019 road? Oh, look, I think it, it was good for our confidence. I think we've been doing a lot right and haven't quite had those things going our way, you know, the result that is. So um, good for the belief. Um, we knew that we could win, win that game, including every game, we, you know, we go out there to, to do well, but uh, to do it in front of a home crowd was extra special. It was a, a real gutsy performance towards the back end of, of the... Um, of the 80 minutes and yet there's a couple of other games of pre um, prior to that where it could have gone that way as well but it mm. didn't so is this kind of the linchpin that gets potentially the Blues over the mark in these tight situations that you guys are back yourself to come home with a dub? Oh look I think it definitely helped with our belief and, and whether it's the turning point or not we'll, we'll find out over the next coming weeks but it's definitely set us up nicely we've got a couple of home games um, again so that helps you know with with us being in our own beds and training at home makes life easier so uh, you know it's, it's just a great opportunity for us now to, to try and repeat that again this week. Right. It is looking forward to what will be another big big clash at Eden Park but that's enough of my questions this whole segment is about you there on Facebook live where you get to fire yours through so we've got a few here uh, and the first question is Swetha and Ashmita Singh have asked and I don't think this is just exclusive to tonight from what I understand it's been asked almost on a weekly basis hey Leon can we try at 12 Sunny Bill and 13 Ma'anonu oh look it's definitely something we, we'll look at at some point both um, Sunny and Ma preferred positions 12, there's no doubt about that. Um, Mars had a little bit of time at 13, uh, hasn't played a lot there since since a long time ago. So, um, you know, I think at some point in the in upcoming weeks we'll see those two together. Just on the top of that though, how good is it to have that luxury where you've got players all in that midfield and outside backs that everybody's firing? It must be hard to try and find places for people. Yeah, well, we're seeing some um, some guys are really starting to find some form. You know, you can go right through um, you know the back line and, and guys are starting to stand up, which is great. And um, you know, your, your your key players, your more experienced players, when they stand up, your team generally will go well. So it was, it, that was probably the most pleasing thing in the weekend was our, our big big name players really put their hand up and play well. Oh, that was a question from Swetha and Ashmeda. Now Byron Ings asks, when can we expect uh, Stephen Pedalfitter back? Well, Stevie's been unfortunate. He's had a significant injury to his his pectoral, so um, he, he required an operation, and um, he's ho hopefully fingers crossed back just before the end of the season. So um, we hopefully see him in the Blues jersey again this season. Excellent. Keep those yeah. questions coming through. Robert Stewart asks, Will Jordan Trainer get a run for the Blues? Uh, Jordan's another one in the um, in the injury category. So he's been unfortunate with a number of injuries actually the, um, through the preseason and. Um, and unfortunately he's, he's struggling away trying to rehab back and it's been a, a frustrating time for, for Jordan, so fingers crossed we see him on the, on the field soon. Uh, there's another question here from Brittany Longroom. Uh, how does Tom like the Blues environment? Tom, which Tom we do? We've got a few Toms. Tom. Oh, I imagine it'd be a big source over there that will be joining, well, that's joining a us very soon. Good question for him, probably, <laughs> yes. isn't it? Yeah. I'll be listening with, <laughs> with intent. <laughs> Bob Spears, and that uh, Tom Robinson will be joining us very shortly. But uh, Bob Spears also asks, what injuries to players have been the biggest blow to the campaign so far? I'm not too sure whether that's just in regards to name-wise, but what's made things complex for you guys to make up your rosters on a due oh, to an injury? Look, two of our... our, our you know, are probably well known and, and top quality players that have had injuries was Caleb Clark and um, Stephen Perfetta. You know, they're both outstanding players in our pre season and, and had trained really well through there. So to, to pick up those injuries um, when they did it as the season was starting was, was unlucky for them because um, they were really looking forward to a big year. So, you know, fingers crossed we see them both on the field again soon. Excellent. And we'll just have time for one more question for head coach uh, Leon McDonald. And this is from Issy Tevi. And can Leon jump in at fullback? Uh, I tried to play touch today and, and my Achilles just hung in there for the, sort of the 15 minute game, so it might be a stretch. We'll 
bit a bit with Tano Imani. He's still running around like a, <laughs> like a teenager. So uh, I don't know if he plays fullback or not, but he's going pretty well. Excellent. Mm. And just to cap things off, uh, another big uh, clash and looking uh, to go three in a row against the Stormers this Saturday night. What's the main focus points for the Blues to try and get uh, that third straight win? Oh, we've just been working hard on being better every week. Um, and then basically that's simply it. We just kept working and working uh, on the fundamentals of the game, you know, our, our set piece, our defence, um, and our organisational attack and, and, and the core skills. So every week we just go about being better and if we do that, you know, we're going to give ourselves a chance. Excellent. Leon McDonald, thank you so much for joining us on BTV and answering the questions that everybody's itching to know. Pleasure to be here. Thank you. Excellent.